So, Shan, how did you get on in Labour Suite? It was actually very interesting. There's some lovely facilities here, aren't there? Yes, they're great. Kelly, this is Shan. I'm just showing her around the postnatal area. Is that OK? That's fine. Well, Shan, the postnatal wards have four and six bedded areas and there are several single rooms. All areas have ensuite facilities, in addition to a bath within each area. The postnatal team are there to provide care and support for mothers and babies as they get to know each other. I see there's a cot beside the bed. Yes, mums and babies are kept together at all times. This is called rooming in and makes responding to babies' feeding cues easier as they get to know each other. We would encourage mums to breastfeed as there are benefits for both mum and baby. For baby, it protects against tummy bugs, obesity and asthma. And for you, mum, it protects you against breast cancer and osteoporosis in later life. And breast milk is also cheaper and convenient for baby. Whichever choice mum makes, the postnatal team will support her. Mums will also be given the opportunity to bath their baby. When at home, Kelly, you'll have to decide when's best to bath your baby. Sometimes night time will make baby settle better. And there's no need for any fancy soaps or skin products. Plain water is much kinder to the baby's skin. So is the postnatal area the place that visitors would come to? That's right, but remember mums aren't in hospital very long, sometimes only a few hours. They do need their rest after giving birth, so it might be better for visitors to see mum and baby at home. So how long will mum be in hospital? Providing mum and baby are both well, they can go home within six hours. The community midwife will attend the next day to continue with postnatal care. I should mention that when mum leaves hospital, she will be given her handheld records to take home. The community midwife will need them when she comes in. If a mum has had a caesarean section or develops other complications, they may be in hospital for longer, but this is very dependent on how she recovers. So if mum gives birth in the evening, can she go home during the night? If mum and baby are both well and they have transport in a car seat, there's no reason not to. Eh, thanks for spending so much time with us. That's been really informative.